Phil Spencer just had a major interview where he talked about the future of Xbox, new consoles, and basically everything we love to hear about. Yet the one thing that he talked about was studios and what buyouts mean for the industry. Let's get into what he's saying and how it's a complete opposite idea of what Sony's Jim Ryan is saying. Let's get into this and let's talk about everything that was said. Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by and checking out the video. Remember to hit that subscribe button and that like button. The support is greatly appreciated. And if you want to be notified on future content, make sure to hit that small little bell icon. It helps the channel out a lot. All right, enough of that. Let's get into what Phil Spencer, the head of Xbox, had to say about buying studios and what it means for the industry. He not only talks about what it means for the developers, but what it means for Xbox as a whole. And this statement by Phil Spencer is coming very close to when Jim Ryan, the head of Sony's PlayStation, was basically asked the same question. Both executives were recently asked about what buying studios means for the companies and what it means for the industry. Now, of course, I've already talked about what Jim Ryan had to say, and I showed what he had to say in the video but to refresh everyone's memory he said buying studios isn't as simple as throwing money at it but instead they want to invest in studios organically this was said by jim ryan who later bought house marquee and another studio who specializes in pc gaming ports for console games it's another example of jim ryan saying something and doing the complete opposite of what he said Yet, for Phil Spencer, he's always been very transparent with gamers about what Xbox is trying to accomplish, which is growth beyond anything we've seen Xbox do before. That means new studios, games, features, consoles, and of course, the choice of how we experience all of those. So when the studio's topic was brought up, there was a lot of talk about it, and it's something that the article mentions right here. Xbox's Phil Spencer explains why he believes studio buyouts are good for gaming. Spencer also discusses where he'd like to grow Xbox's first party capabilities. Xbox head Phil Spencer has said he understands why some consumers are unsure if studio acquisitions are a good thing or a bad thing for gaming, but explain why he believes it is the former. Okay, let me stop right there because I want to give my two cents before we get into what Phil Spencer thinks about this. Because I've seen the random people yelling and getting mad about Xbox buying studios. And yes, I've even seen some people get annoyed that Sony bought some studios. Because for gamers, this means they have to buy a certain piece of plastic or stick with a certain ecosystem to play these games. Not to mention there's a huge negative connotation to big publishers buying studios and driving them into the ground. EA being one of the worst ones around where they took very talented teams and just butchered them. So trust me when I say I understand why some gamers are hesitant to believe buying new studios is a good thing. I mean everybody remembers Blizzard and it still breaks my heart. But for me as an Xbox and PC gamer, I have to say that I truly believe Xbox buying studios actually helps them and also helps gamers the most. Because you get so much choice on Xbox that they don't lock their games down to a single console. The amount of freedom their first party studios have is bar none. So I'm glad that Bethesda was bought by Xbox and not Tencent or some other massive company. But I also understand that Xbox has grown so much the last three years that it's starting to weigh on people. And it's something that the article mentions right here. Over the past few years, Xbox has aggressively grown its portfolio of first party studios, as well as setting up the initiative Perfect Dark and a new Age of Empire studio. Xbox has acquired Ninja Theory, Hellblade, Playground Games, Forza Horizon, Obsidian, Fallout New Vegas, and Exile Wasteland 3, Double Fine, Psychonauts, and most recently Bethesda in a $7.5 billion deal. Speaking in a new video interview with IGN, Spencer said he understands why some people have reservations about studios being bought up, but that he believes acquisitions are a natural and healthy part of the game's business. Being acquired, if that is the avenue an independent studio chooses to go down, is a sign that the selling company has made it, he said. Okay, so the first thing here is that Xbox has grown a lot the last several years. And when you look at all those studios they created and bought, it's pretty staggering. But what most people don't understand is that a lot of those studios were made independent. 
which means the people that created and started those studios took a massive, and I truly mean massive risk by making those studios. Just like anybody starting a business in the real world, starting one is a huge gamble and it takes a lot of time and money to make it work. And that's something that people don't want to admit, especially when it comes to game developers who typically sacrifice a lot to make the games they love. Once they get bought out by a company, most people get mad at them or even stop supporting them because they feel that they were selling out. But in reality, it's a huge moment for those people that started that company from the ground up. It's their moment of celebration and stability that they've been working so hard to accomplish. So when a studio gets bought by Sony, Xbox, EA, or whoever, I get happy for the people that started that company because they got their made it moment. Like Phil Spencer said right then and there. Because it's true, to some extent they did make it and they're finally able to establish themselves even more and bring out even better games. I mean, we all heard the stories about Ninja Theory and Exile and Obsidian Entertainment, how they could barely keep the lights on, how they had to make games on GoFundMe pages, or some random funding they got from fans. But once they got bought by Microsoft, they were elated because they don't have to deal with that nonsense anymore. Instead, they can concentrate on the thing they love the most, which is the games. So yeah, I agree with Phil Spencer when he says this, and he continues to talk about studios and what it means for the industry right here. Sometimes I see dialogue out there in the industry. Well, are acquisitions a good thing or a bad thing? And I saw Sony just announced a couple of acquisitions, saying congrats to those teams on that. And I understand some of the sentiment from the community about whether these are a good thing or a bad thing when acquisitions happen, Spencer said. But one thing I'll put out there is starting a new studio, starting any small business, frankly, is a very risky proposition. Starting a video game studio is even more so. And if a team actually takes the risk of starting a new company, starting a studio, building that over years, building value in that, to say that they shouldn't sell, I think is just short-sighted. The whole thing that kind of causes this cycle of teams creating studios is that opportunity for those people take an immense risk at starting new teams to realize the value in what they created. And M&A or acquisitions is absolutely part of it. It doesn't mean every team has to end up selling their studio, but I think it's a natural and healthy part of our industry that certain teams will start a studio, many of them will fail, we know most small businesses fail, whether it's video games or anything else. But those that make it through and at such a kind of risk-filled journey for them, to get to the point to create real value, I'm always going to congratulate when teams get to the point where they realize that value through acquisition or just massive independent success if that's the path they also start on. Spencer continued, This is one of the most genuine things that Phil Spencer has said since he's been at Xbox. It's the fact that starting something like a studio is hard. It's risky, it takes money, and it's something that a lot of times fails. So when someone sells, it's a great moment for them. But what's the most telling thing about this is that Phil Spencer knows that Xbox is looking into studios. He even mentioned Sony buying studios and congratulating those developers and Sony on their success. That's the best part about the gaming industry. It's the fact that it's grown so much the last 10 years, there's going to be so many talented people up for grabs. There's going to be so many studios that come out of nowhere because they made an awesome game we get to play. And because of that success, someone like Microsoft or Sony will buy them out to make even better games. And that's something that I think Phil Spencer sees, and it's something that the gaming industry sees. Xbox understands that making these massive investments in industry leaders and developers is the best way for Xbox to grow. It's why Xbox is throwing money at studios like crazy, and it's why Sony is doing the same thing regardless of what Jim Ryan is saying. Sure, Sony is growing organically or whatever that means. At the end of the day, Sony is throwing money at their first party problems. Xbox is throwing money at their first party problems. Every single publisher is throwing money at developers so they can make games people want to play. And that's what's going to continue to happen in this industry. Xbox is going to invest like crazy into the gaming market because they want to be the market leaders in gaming. And they want to lead all publishers in first party output. And what's the only way of doing that? by throwing money at the first party investment, which is something that Xbox is doing better than anyone else in the gaming industry. Yes, even Sony. They put so much money into their first party studios, it's insane. Sure, Sony has great games and they have great first party buyouts, but it pales in comparison to what Xbox is doing. 
Let's hope this continues and let's hope that gaming developers continue to find success because it brings a smile to my face when people finally reach their goals and something that they've worked really hard for. And that's what's happening with a lot of these acquisitions. Developers that worked for years to get where they are are finally getting their payout and they're finally getting to make the bigger games that they've always dreamed of. And I'm glad that that's happening across the industry. But enough of what I think about all of this. Tell me what you think about all of this. Do you agree with what Phil Spencer said? Is he saying the opposite of what Sony's Jim Ryan is saying? Do you think Xbox will buy even more studios now? How many studios will Xbox have by the end of the year? What studios do you think deserve to be bought next? Are you happy when a studio is bought by a big publisher? Go down below and let me know. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please hit that subscribe button and that like button. The support helps out the channel more than you know. And give me a follow on Twitter at Zalker87. I'm always on there talking games and sharing my latest videos. Plus, I love interacting with everyone there. So get on Twitter and let's talk about gaming. Also, follow me on Xbox Live. My gamer tag is Zalker87, just like my channel name. See what games I'm playing and let's compete in achievements for the month. So right now, I'm playing a lot of Dungeons and Dragons Dark Alliance. And I've been playing this game called Dark Crystal. It's a tactical game. It's a little strategy game on Game Pass that I've really enjoyed. And funny enough, it's made by Netflix. I saw Netflix come up and I was like, whoa, they're making these type of games. I didn't know they were in the industry that long. And I didn't know they were bringing out pretty good games for that. The game's a little quirky, but I'm having a lot of fun with it. And I've been playing a lot of Warhammer strategy games. Warhammer Age of Sigmar is one of these tactical games I just wanted to buy and I really enjoyed it. I've been on this strategy game kick for a little while. I put that on Twitter. I've been having a bunch of fun with it. I've been playing on my computer, on my Xbox. Everywhere I go, I've been wanting to play tactical games because they're so much fun. So I've been really going into the Age of Sigmar. It's a rogue light strategy game. So after you die, you have to start the campaign all over, but you get all the people and the items and the weapons and the cars and everything that upgraded your units you take them with you and you start all over so it's really cool i'm really enjoying it so i really recommend that game but let me know what you're playing are you playing something that we don't know about are you on your xbox your ps5 or your pc i want to know what everybody's playing because that's what we're here for so talk games and that's all for now thanks for watching and until next time remember enjoy your gaming later